I just want to greet everybody and I hope you're having a relaxed evening or a day whenever you watch this video. Um, we've been calling for flag dancers and just dancers that want to worship the Lord. So if you don't have flags, it doesn't prohibit you from doing what God wants you to do for this nation. And the thing that the Lord gave me when I started with the flag dancing was um, the Lord said, like Jehoshaphat, go into praise and worship. That's what happened when they went to battle. And that's what God is calling for over our nation. You know, if you say to me, Esther, what, what war are we in? Then I needed to look at the citizens of this nation. We had war with each other because I believe the leaders have not taken their rightful positions because that if you're in righteousness, right standing with Christ, you will know what the difference is. We will know how to rule and reign in righteousness. Now, David, he danced. So if somebody says to me, Esther, why must we dance? Because it's what you want to bring to the Father. It's, it's your like your praise, like your worship. You can do it in different means and forms, but God is calling for dancing to take place, like David danced in the Bible. So I'm calling you. I'm going to attach onto my voice note. You will hear and see the, the hearts of the women rising up. I'm looking for some men that will also do the same. And if you don't want to dance, send us uh, verses out the word of God and speak and just send me the link so I can attach it on. And we are going to, I'm going to attach on the top, either the left or right hand corner, you will see the logo of hashtag Hope for South Africa. This is one of the spheres in society. You know, we've got eight uh, and more spheres in society, which the Lord has zoomed on. And the one is agriculture and health for Africa. The other seven, and that is, for example, government is one of these sphere. The other sphere is education. We have even the church, the religious mountain. We also have the arts and entertainment, we have sports and agriculture. We have education. You name the spheres that we have to stand up in. And this is your time to rise and shine. So don't look, why? Why is it there? A hashtag hope for South Africa. I just want to bring you one word before the dancers come on. And they're from all over South Africa. Send to me, if you're from overseas, send me your clips as well. You can send it to my WhatsApp, um, my WhatsApp um, number that I'm going to put on the video. And uh, let us just worship the King and praise the King and thank Him for what He's doing in our lives. Because it's not just South Africa that's going through turmoil. And God's children need to rise. But if somebody says to me, Esther, why another political party? Then I look at them, then I say, why another church? It's one and the same thing. We only have 400 seats in Parliament. What happened with Elijah? He had 450 false prophets that were saying to him, you know, even the queen, she wanted to kill him. That was Jezebel. She wanted to kill him. And what happened? He came and he actually did a performance. He did an action. He didn't just pray. He went into action. Now the prayer Praise and prophetic is action. We've done a lot of prayer through our nation. Now we're doing the praise and the worship, but the prophetic needs to come in as well. God is speaking. We need to listen and we need to go into action with what he's saying. He will save our nation when we stand up as righteous leaders and righteous citizens of the nation to vote correctly. So if Elijah had to come against 450 Baal prophets, how many have we got in our parliament? So I'm calling God's children, even the shepherds of the churches, where are you? No use creating so many churches when you don't see the season. And the season is now. Jonah, Jonah had to go into Nineveh. And he had to speak the truth. Why did he have to speak the truth? He had to go to the king. And he had to say to him, you need to repent. And that's what has to happen with our nation. We need to repent. But we need to turn from our wicked ways. That's 2 Chronicles 7.14. But we also need to be present in every sphere. In your health department, your hospital, you need to be present, not just praying, but present. Bring the fragrance of the Lord, the excellence of serving the King of Kings. Let's go and watch all the clips that were sent to me from all over South Africa, and I'll post as many more as I get. Please send me yours. You need to start dancing. And if you're a man and you don't want to dance, David danced. So you don't need to use a flag if you don't want to use a flag, but just let's get some dancing. Let's get some praise and worship. And if you feel you just want to pray, send me a short clip with your prayer, but your praise, whatever it is. And if you say to me, no, but we must only do it behind closed doors. Can I remind you, David, 
did not do it behind closed doors. Neither did Esther, neither did Daniel. We all need to remember these two signs to any verse in the Bible, and there's many verses. Go and spread the gospel. We need to save souls. Let us do it, but let us stand as a family together, strong before we lose our country, because there's many ists in our country that want to take over our nation and get rid of Christianity. God bless you. I love you. Let's go and watch our dances in South Africa, just lifting the name of Jesus. I hope this lifts your spirit. Please broadcast it and at the same time create your own little short video for me and send it to my WhatsApp number. Thank you. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.